I, li I like to see Palash get on the volley a little bit. I feel that he lets the ball go past his racket a lot. For somebody so tall with that wingspan, he's going to start moving up in the rankings on the glass court. You've got a volley. Seems quite passive. Yeah, it's picking your moments, isn't it? It's a very slick slam dunk from Yao. It's a lovely shot. Nice bit of deception there, getting on that ball early. It's a bit more assertive. Nice testing rally this one, Vanessa. Yeah, he's steadily working his way back into this game. It's been a really good phase, Balash. He can't be more relaxed. I mean, I'm very impressed the way he's relaxed. I just would like to see him really getting and attacking those. Oh my word, that is an outrageous bit of touch. It's kind of really lulled Yao into this kind of very <laughs> pedestrian tempo, isn't he? Yeah, he has. I quite like it. I think he needs to sort of pick the odd volley. Well, certainly not a player to waste any extra energy around the court, Park Ash. He's floating the ball around, isn't he? Very rarely hitting with any pace. Oh my goodness me, that's an outrageous shot from Farkash. Well, they weren't happy, Wyatt. Look at that for a cross court, Nick, Vanessa. Tidy work, using his speed there. Bit of a looser ball into the front. Yao accelerating on, and that's something that Yao needs to do. Some of the players at the top, because it'll just, it'll just be Harry too much. The pace will be too much. You'll get buried further in the back of the court. But there's some really subtle qualities to him. You know, and, and it does not play as out of rhythm, as you rightly said. And then suddenly he does hit with power or goes for something, and you're completely flat-footed. Nice, nicely done, volleyed across the middle, the poor width, he's certainly not having it all his own way, the Malaysian out there. Something was coming. That was outrageous, that was. Yes. Check this out. What a confident shot. He's been looking for that shot and he is flattened that like no other. Look at this stroll up I to know. where he's going to get caught that's where he's going to get caught because of the deeper tee position from Farkash he's going to get caught flat-footed and this is where Yao can do damage getting in early and counter dropping
know exactly how that feels. Get that yes, yes, multiple man. times throughout the day. The squeeze is on from Yao. Two gay balls for a two love lead in this first round. Well earned from Yao. It's considerably six love lead in the first and it got very tight. Closing out that one. Towards the back end of the second, we started to see Balash really bending over and feeling the effects, not just of the match, but also, you know, like I said before, he only traveled, got here on Sunday to play Tuesday. I think as he starts to travel more around the world, he's got to think a little bit more about climatization and preparation in those time zones, Vanessa. Yeah, it's a heavy, heavy flight. Uh, it's nice, nice skill, but he's got a real way to go here. There it is for Yao. It's a really nice squash in there. The tall Hungarian coming into the fold here. 